Hi, it's Trent. I want to show you how to make an iPad stylus. I started drawing and painting on my iPad and iPhone about a year ago, um, and at the time the only stylus that was available for the iPhone and iPad was the Pogo stylus. And the Pogo stylus is about this length, actually a little bit shorter than this, um, and it has a fairly small tip. And what I found is that when I was trying to draw or paint, it was hard to get my hand far enough from the surface of the iPad or iPhone to really see what I was doing. So um, I figured out pretty quick that it wasn't gonna work for me. So I looked for ways of making my own stylus, and there are a lot of different tutorials online, but I, I kind of had to stumble my way into um, the right solution for me. iPads and iPhones have capacitive touch screens. I don't know too much about capacitive touchscreens, but essentially the idea is that you have a, an electrical charge in your hand, and when you touch the surface of a capacitive touchscreen, it changes the charge on the surface of the screen, and that's how it registers a touch. So essentially, um, we have to have two basic ingredients in an iPad stylus. One, we need to make sure that there is a uninterrupted line of conductive material between our hand and the screen's surface because it has to do with the charge in our hand touching the surface of the screen. And two, we have to have the point of contact of our stylus has to be about the size of the tip of a finger. So unfortunately that means that we can't have a stylus that's pointy or that has a very small tip. I want to show you a couple examples of, of different types of styluses I made um, from materials I had around the studio. One is, uh, it's a charcoal holder that I put conductive foam into just as if it were a piece of charcoal, tighten it down, and then now this can act as an iPad stylus. The important thing here being that my finger has to be touching the metal tip uh, in order for it to register as a touch. This is just a, um, a technical pencil, or drafting pencil, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it has, an, it has a metal tip, and what I've done here is um, I put a little piece of Q-tip into the foam to give it a little bit more rigidity so it doesn't uh, flop around quite as much and I can have a little bit more round and, and long uh, tip there. Uh, finally, uh, I also made a stylus out of a palette knife which I um, stuck into a piece of conductive foam. And again, with all three of these, I have an uninterrupted line of conductive material from my hand to the surface of the screen. So you might be able to come up with a, with a decent stylus uh, just on your own with materials you have around the studio, minus, of course, this conductive foam that I'm going to talk more about uh, in just a moment. Um, but essentially, anything with a metal tip. I've also heard of people using uh, metal pens, uh, you know, ballpoint pens that have a metal casing, and then putting foam in the tip of that and using it as a stylus. That should work fine, too. My big breakthrough came when I noticed a, a rack of aluminum tubing at Blick Art Supplies. Um, I'm sure I'm not the first to discover this, uh, and by no means is this an uncommon material. Um, but it was at the time when I was trying to figure out how to make these things, and it occurred to me that it would make a good stylus. Um, these aluminum tubes come in several different sizes. You can see here, all of them about a foot long, um, different diameters. What ended up being most comfortable to me were, were these kind of larger sizes that are more the size of a number two pencil. The nice thing about the aluminum tubing is that it's long and I can cut it to whatever length that best suits my purposes using a hacksaw um, and then I can smooth out the edges uh, from the cut with a, a metal file. Now the foam was a little bit more tricky. I tried Best Buy, I tried Radio Shack, I tried a, a packaging supply store. Um, none of them knew what I was talking about. Uh, and then I read online that, that most electronics are, are shipped in the stuff. So I went around to friends and asked them to give me all their packaging from electronics and, and again, no luck. Uh, where I ended up finding the foam is at Fry's Electronics. It turns out that integrated circuits, which are the many-legged bug-looking 
computer chips that you might be familiar with, uh, which they sell at Fry's Electronics, are shipped stuck into high-density conductive foam, which is what we're looking for. So now I've got my two basic materials. I've got the aluminum tube and I've got the high-density conductive foam. My tube I can cut down to whatever length that I want. I, I mean I could get as many as three different styluses out of one tube if I wanted to. Or I can just leave it as long as it is here, which I have done with several different styluses. You can see this one. Um, I have two different tips. I have one that's kind of a, the, the shape of a paintbrush and then the other side which is more like the pogo stylus. With the foam I need to cut it down a little bit so taking an X-Acto knife here I'm going to shave off some of the corners here and shape it a little bit. Um, I don't want to cut off too much or it's not going to have enough pressure to hold it into the tip of the of the aluminum here but uh, essentially if I take about half of the material away I'll have the right size. And then it's just a matter of squeezing, twisting, and pushing at the same time uh, the foam into the tip of the tubing. And I keep on squeezing, twisting, and pushing, and it will eventually work its way into the tube until finally I just have a little bit of the foam sticking out of the tip. And then it's just a matter of using uh, your X-Acto knife or some small scissors or whatever works for you to shape the end. So here I am with my iPad open and I have a nice long stylus that I can use to get my hand far away from the surface of um, the iPad. And it's going to act more like a paintbrush. I can swap it around to use the two different sides depending on which I like better for any any kind of application.